Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, The Wolf, man. Got you guys in another video here, another Crypto Hopper. You guys have been asking about some more videos. I shall be providing those. Um, obviously, I want to get another hopper started, and that's what I've done. I have set up a Bidrix hopper, um, looking to basically replicate what I've done on Binance. And basically see if I can get some of those results on Bittrex. And uh, so far, nothing yet. But let's go ahead and talk about the Binance one. Despite this massive, massive dump we've taken in the market in the last, I don't know, what, week or so. Hopper is still producing some results. Um, and I know it sounds crazy, but as you can see right here, these are my positions right now. Um couple p potential winners obviously this one storage probably could be a loser and apex and adam still has some time to maybe recover but um it's been up and down man so if we come to my trade history here so let's go to trade history and there's been times where i'm like all right we're getting some greens and then there's times where i'm like all right should i turn it off and, you know, that's all dependent on the market because there was a time where market was moving, money's coming in, a lot of greens, and then we took that little hit and it was like, whoa, what's going on? So let's just come down. So uh, as far as March goes, like I said, we've got some greens and some reds. I would say so far March, probably more greens though um definitely was a solid month for february on the fact that like i said the market took a dump so again daily profits the daily gains of the two percent three percent those are pretty consistent they're there um i know one person did ask me you know am i still getting some solid profit i would say yeah uh overall uh, i'm gonna show you guys my stats in a little bit here but i just wanted to show you guys i mean there's been times where you see you have something like this where you go 2.72 2.33 and then you go five 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 so that right there is just you know it's a solid 15 percent right there solid these are all profit triggers um so again it's just it's difficult because again you always have to come in here sometimes you might have to check to see how your signalers are doing the performance day reports and we'll go ahead and look at those because those are kind of give you insights of maybe you might want to change your coins um so again if you look at the daily profit so far in march i've had some positives you know some positives here and there i mean i've had some downs but the downs haven't been that bad. I mean, at least in my personal opinion. Uh, as far as average profits per coin go, the total looks bad. Um, average holding time is about nine hours. But again, some of these coins that I'm trading, some of these profits that I'm averaging for these particular coins are pretty, pretty solid. So, you know, I know for a fact that if I'm trading this particular coin, there's a good chance that's probably going to be a win. It's probably going to be anywhere from two and above percent. Uh, I have seen my BTC grow. And then again, it was growing. And then it said, Bitcoin said, oh, oop, oop, oop. And, it, you know, it dropped pretty quickly. So that's when I kind of you know, start losing some BTC. But as far as my signals go, let's come to signals here. <laughs> So I did add some new ones. Got some new ones here. Got Dazzle Wave. Trying this one out. I don't think I've gotten too many signals from Dazzle Wave. I did upgrade to the premium one of uh, HIRN. Um, this one's $15. Uh, this one's 10 And this one works on Bitrix as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and if we go to their signals. So this is something I always like to come look at just to see, hey, do I need to change up, you know, 
particular coins. Because look, man, we go at 834 here. Pivx, if you had Pivx selected, you would have made 6%. So again, it's, it's a lot of research and constantly coming back to see, all right, what is it I need to do? And then also, too, I do need to upgrade because I messed up because uh, with the subscriptions, they're all Mac payments. So I did mess up. I wanted to upgrade it to the uh, Hero one. So I'm definitely probably going to upgrade my Binance to Hero because I know for a fact that if I have more coins selected, I can get some of these and some of those losses that I'm get, you know, they're not as bad. So I'm, I mean, you guys look here. These are all from today. So there are some winners, but again, you have to constantly come in here, check. I mean, oh my goodness. So what I'm gonna do for my Binance one, I'm definitely gonna upgrade it uh, to the Hero subscription. Right now, if you come in my Bitrix one, again, I do have Bitrix set up. Uh, nothing so far, no signals have came in. Um, let's see here, let's go to the signals, cause Again, like I said, I did buy a couple signals for Bitrix as well. So these are going to be the two main ones I personally think. Um, and then this one might get some as well. Maybe I might have to buy the premium one. But um, again, just set up the Bitrix one. I think, it, what was it, yesterday? Hoping to get some type of activity on this one. Again, I did put the basic 20 bucks subscription on this one just because it's new. I'm going to test it out just to see. Uh, what I can do with this one, but I'm hoping to replicate the same results I've gotten from Binance. But again, I probably just need to go ahead and upgrade my hopper so I have more coins selected. Because if you look here at the performance reports, especially for the one I have right now, I mean, there's some winners in there, man. But again, you gotta have all the right, it's all, it's all it comes down to having all the right coins selected and then letting it just do its thing. I mean, Pearl today is going bananas it's going bananas so that's all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my hopper come back and select all these different coins and then let's go ahead and see what the results going to be for the next um, a couple weeks because i'm pretty sure the market will go back up um but that's gonna wrap it up for this uh hopper update video definitely gonna have another one as i upgrade this hopper subscription and um, see how these signals do since, you know, I did buy some new signals just to test drive some of these different strategies I'm using. But again, as far as my Bittrex, I basically use the same template that I have set up for my Binance. So um, if I can get the same results on Bittrex that I'm getting with Binance, because I've seen some some serious heavy gains on, uh, on the Bittrex side as well. So. Hoping to have that done, but um, if you guys did enjoy the content, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, share with your friends. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notifications button to be notified for any future videos coming live from the channel. And uh, until next time, y'all, take care.